students hope you are enjoying our lessons do you remember what we studied in last video yes do you remember we studied about how seeds get dispersed with the help of various agents so what are we going to study today we are going to learn something which right now you are seeing on the screen so we are going to continue with the lesson plants increasing the numbers which is chapter number 1 and today's topic will be new plants from other parts of the plants so besides growing from seeds new plants also grow from certain other parts such as roots stem and leaves of the parent plants some plants like rose sugarcane hibiscus grow from stem cuttings potato is a stem that grows underground let us study more about potatoes potato has buds called eyes its diagram is shown here so this over here is an eye it is a bird but it is called as eye any part of the potato that has birds on it can grow into a new plant there are some other vegetables also which can be called as underground stems the examples are onion and ginger these are underground stems there are few vegetables whose roots give rise to new plants and what are the example carrots sweet potatoes these are the examples of the plant whose roots can grow into new plants this is a diagram of a sweet potato now leaves of plants like bryophyllum can grow into new plants and this is its diagram so this over here are the new plants growing from bryophyllum students do you know the vegetables or fruits or whatever that we have during our meals we get them from different parts of our country they are grown in different seasons and different types of soils now what do we call the plants that are grown in larger amount in certain area in certain seasons do you know the plants which are grown in specific area in larger amount in specific seasons are called as crops let us see the definition of crops so what is definition of crops plant of one kind are grown in a particular area or region during a particular period are called crops i repeat plants of one kind are grown in a particular area or region during a particular period are called crops crops can be divided into two types and what are those two types let us see so one type of crop is a rabi crop rabi crops are generally grown from november to april examples are wheat the other type of crop is kharif crop kharif crop are grown from june to october example is rice so this is a rice field so the two type of crops are rabi crops which are grown from november to april and kharif crops which are grown from june to october examples of rabi crops are wheat gram and kharif crop examples are rice maize jowa and bajra now vegetables like cabbage cauliflower radish bean pea grow during winters whereas vegetables like brinjal pumpkin gourd grow in summer season different plants not only grow in different climates and seasons but also require different kinds of soil for example rice and jute grow in clayey soil why which holds plenty of water 
On the other hand, wheat is grown in sandy and irrigated soil of Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. Understood? So different plants require different climates, different seasons and they also require different kinds of soil. Some plants grow in specific areas like coconut trees which are generally found in coastal regions. For example, our region is a coastal region. Coconut region is a coastal region. And so we find lot of coconut trees here. While tea plantation is generally found in hilly regions like that of Assam or Nilgiris where we see lot of tea plantation. Let us see different examples of plants which are grown in specific kind of soils in specific regions. Jawar and Bajra are grown in sandy soil of Rajasthan. Cotton grows well in black soil of central and western India. It is also found in some parts of Maharashtra also. Tea plants need moist soil and grow on the slopes of hilly areas like Assam, Nilgiris and Darjeeling. Just now we saw the video. Coconut trees grow in coastal areas of Kogan region, Goa and Kerala. Maize grows well in dry soils of the plains or hills, while onion and groundnuts need well-drained sandy soil. So that was all for today. Now let us see assignment. Today's assignment consists of fill in the blanks. First question in that is some plants like rose grow from dash. I repeat some plants like rose grow from dash. Second potato has birds called dash. Third dash are grown from November to April. Now comes next question. Question number B. What do we mean by crops? And question number C is make a chart of various regions or locations, type of soil found over there and the plants grown in these regions. So that was our today's assignment. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any doubts, please ask me. So students enjoy learning. Stay healthy. See you again. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.